Yes, I hope um, everyone can see my screen. Yes, sir. Yes, thank you. Thank you for the confirmation. Cool. So uh, I have a couple of things to tell. One, I want you guys to be active in the session. And second thing is, it's going to be like more over like a little bit of interactive. So, uh, you know, keep yourself uh, available so that you can answer, answer it on the chat, basically. And uh, once again, thank you. Thank you very much for giving this wonderful opportunity. Right now, I'm here with my uh, student, uh, Sanidhi and Shreya. Uh, I hope Sanidhi and Shreya, you, get, you guys can know, you guys can turn on the webcam. Yeah. So uh, my students are here right now uh, with their ideas and a prototype for a specific problem. Uh, especially right now, we are going to give a small presentation on the topic environment and technology. So usually people used to keep uh, environment as a separate part and technology can uh, on the other part, right? But I'm going to talk about the positive side of the environment and uh, technology. You know, it is really amazing to see what will happen when this technology and the environment you know, get together. There, there are lots of things which can be done. Lots of problems can be solved. So lots of many among the problems, we have picked a couple of problems which we are trying to uh, solve. So uh, right now, I'm going to uh, welcome my student, Sanidhi, who's going to take over from here. Sanidhi, over to you. Thank you, uh, Nikhilesh, sir, for uh, introducing me. Hi everyone, I'm Sanidhi from Nurture International School, Bangalore, India, and I'm associated with QTPI Robotics. Uh, hope you all are doing well today. So before sharing my idea, let us start with the fun part, which is the quiz. So you will have 20 seconds to answer using the chat option. So the question is, what happens when we water plants too much? Your options are, <clears throat> Option A, the leaves of the plant are shed off. Option B, it reduces the oxygen level which leads to damaged roots. Option C, the mineral requirement of the plant is not fulfilled. And option D, it neutralizes the pH of the soil. Okay, your time starts now. Okay, time's up. Good job, everyone. So the correct answer is option B, that it uh, reduces the oxygen level, which leads to damaged roots. So if the roots are weak, then the growth stops without much nutrients and less oxygen. Eventually, it leads to the death of the plant. As you can see from the graph here, India has witnessed 30% to 61% crop loss due to excess watering. In 2019, approximately 6 lakh plants were lost. The 30% we see here is 6 lakh plants. We have to do something about this, right? And what solution do we propose? Technology. Yes, we can use modern day technology for the betterment of our environment. And this case, we use the agrobot. The agrobot is done by our team. So we can see the moisture sensor here. Uh, this moisture sensor detects the moisture level in the soil. Based on that, it will provide the plant the required amount of water. Here, here we can see a basal 16 milliliters of water a day. And the agrobot is giving the exact same amount. If it is an other plant, a different amount of water will be given. So this is just the first prototype. We will be able to improvise it more and use it in agricultural fields. This is an example of how technology is able to help us improve our environment. Now my friend Shreya will take over. Over to Shreya. Thank you, Sanithi. Hi everyone, my name is Shreya Menon. I'm a grade nine student from DPS East, Bangalore, and I'm being associated with QT Robotics. Let me introduce today's topic with two small questions for which you'll be given 20 seconds to answer in the chat box. What the first question is, what is the first thing you think of when I say the word environment? Your time starts now. Please answer in the chat box. Yeah, thank you.
we are getting lots of interesting answers. But I think Shreya is expecting something else. Am I right, Shreya? Up. Yes, time's up. Uh, one, more, one very important thing is humans. Humans are very important in the environment and hum many people lose their lives because of many accidents which occur. And one main reason is the unmanned railway cro crossings. The unmanned railway crossings are placed around the world where there is less manpower. My second question is, what is the percentage of accidents that occur due to the unmanned railway crossings? Please uh, answer in the chat box. The options are A, 20%, B, 5%, C, 61%, and D, 35%. The time starts now. time up. Thank you so much. And the answer is C. And the solution to this is to deploy the uh, an automatic railway gate wherever necessary. And based on our research, most accidents occur in the villages where there's less manpower. So we will be sharing our first prototype done by our team on the situation. Here, the sensor one senses the gate, uh, the, the um, train, and open closes the gate. And when the sensor two senses the train passing, the gate opens. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Shreya. Thank so, you for this big opportunity. Over to you, Yash. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Shreya. See, when Shreya was asking uh, about uh, word environment, everyone was like, you know, uh, thinking about uh, only the plants and animals. I think everyone missed out the major fact that we are also part of the environment, right? So anyway, cool. Uh, so this is just a glimpse of what, uh, you know, we are trying to do. So uh, how can we solve the problems with the help of the technology? And yes, uh, by the coexistence of the environment and the technology, the life is going to be beautiful and the better. So that is what uh, our kids are you know, trying to do uh, with the technology, whatever they have learned. So let me end this session with a small quote, uh, which I just mentioned over there, that is embracing the harmonious coexistence of environment and technology. We pay the path towards the thriving future where innovation flourishes and nature's beauty is cherished and preserved. Thank you. Thank you very much for this wonderful opportunity. Uh, over to the host. Thank you very much, sir. That was revoking. And we are truly inspired by your career and we are eager to know more about PewDiePie. Now I request Mrs. Anuradha Sharma.